god, this thing is quick on dirt. Hi, it's your favorite desert dweller, Sarah, here with another off-road review. And yes, today I am desert dweller, Sarah. Sometimes I'm warehouse weirdo, Sarah. Sometimes I'm cul-de-sac, Sarah. All depends on my environment. And then today my environment is the desert where I'm taking this 2019 Ford Raptor out for a rip. And on top of that, if there's an obstacle I can't handle, I have a highly modified 2018 Raptor out here with me that will make sure it gets complied with. That's what's up. That's a pretty running board. Be a shame if someone ripped it off on a rock. It's pretty tough though. Before we get going with the rest of the review, real quick, I just wanna to touch on a few things that stood out to me about the interior and exterior of this Raptor, and then we'll get on with the jumping and doing crazy stuff in the dirt because that's why everyone is watching this video let's be honest but with the interior this truck is closer to being a luxury vehicle than it is a pickup truck the steering wheel and this is an f-150 thing is absolutely massive i feel like i'm driving a bus when i'm driving this truck which i've never driven a bus before so there's that the seats in here are heated and air conditioned and they're super comfortable and i like the fact that the pedals are adjustable too so you can move the pedals with the switch down below the left side of the steering wheel hands down this is my favorite feature about the truck the rear seats fold up into the rear wall and it gives you a ton of space back here like i can have a nap on this back floor and be totally comfortable it's amazing you could use the center storage cubby as a home for a family of penguins I say some stupid shit sometimes. I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, but having this little camera right here on the front of the truck, especially angled down, is a lifesaver when you're off-roading. So you can actually see when you're coming down or over a crest or a ridge. So happy this is on here. Yeah. This Raptor does have the optional trailer tow package, which has this really fun switch that you can squeeze underneath to release your trailer. It's I don't know, it's very satisfying to squeeze. I'm satisfying to squeeze. Squeeze me. I do like the color combination of Performance Blue with these gunmetal wheels, and I like the style of the wheel in general, but I'm not sure how I feel about a simulated beadlock looking wheel. It's kind of like having those plastic covers over your brake calipers that make them look like it's a big brake kit when you really have like a two piston caliper underneath. I am giving a lot of praise to the interior of the F-150, but for $73,000, I would hope it would have an amazing interior. Although a lot of that money is going into the performance of this truck because this is not just your regular pickup truck that you take to Home Depot and load up with two by fours and whatever else you buy at Home Depot. Screws. Time to take this thing for a rip. All right, I'm gonna start out in, change my modes. I'm in normal, so there's sport mode. There is the trailer mode. There is a slippery mode. And I'm going to go, there's deep, snow and sand that puts it in four high i'm going to keep going into baja mode and there's also a rock crawl or meatball mode so and that one requires four low i'm going to put it into baja but i'm going to switch it into too high in case i jump the truck because there's jumps out here now if you do put it into baja mode it's going to default into four high so I just switched it to too high because I don't believe in using four wheel drive unless I need it to get me out of a situation. So that's how I roll. Time for the Raptors to prey on some moguls. Oh, now because I'm in the Baja mode, it's keeping the revs up and it's not shifting for fuel economy because who gives a shit about fuel economy when you're gonna hit some jumps, and kill some dirts. Can you kill dirts? Ooh, this looks like fun. <laughs> it gets tail happy easy. Like nothing. Wow, 
of a corner here. Ooh, just the right amount of sideways that it brought me around that nicely. It makes sense that this truck costs as much as it does. I mean, having this Fox racing suspension and like the wide body and especially all the tech on here, the tech also makes off-roading easy for someone that's a novice like myself. See how it does going up these rocks up the hill. Too high. No problem. Shoot Sarah Bruce. Who jumps? Jumps, jumps, jumps. Science welcomes you and the bean pods that are blowing in my garage door right now. I have the garage door open because this truck nor even comes close to fitting in the garage and it was like an inch from the ceiling when I pulled it in. This thing is massive. It's over five and a half thousand pounds and powering this Raptor is Ford's all aluminum port and direct fuel injected EcoBoost 3.5 liter V6 that puts out 450 horsepower at 5,000 RPM and 510 pound feet of torque at 3,000 RPM. I almost forgot what I was gonna say. Although completely irrelevant, I would love to see a Raptor in the same color as this coolant, this highlighter yellow, fire truck yellow color. Oh, it looks so good. It's also paired to a 10R80 direct shift 10 speed automatic transmission that I actually really like. It keeps the truck in the peak power band and every time it shifts, it's kind of like a satisfying jerk back in your seat. It's a weird way of describing it. For 2019, there are two new major features for the Raptor. There's trail control, which is this button here on the dash that you press. And it's basically like cruise control for off-road. So I have two buttons on the steering wheel. I can select my off-road speed. So I'm gonna set it for five miles per hour going up this hill, which is not a huge hill. But uh, yeah, after you set the speed, you pretty much just let off the gas and the brake and it'll do everything for you going up and down hills. It's a pretty awesome feature for like if you're doing rock crawling. So here it goes. <laughs> if only the truck could steer itself too. Maybe in like a year or two. So there you go. I'm not touching the gas or the brake and the truck's just kind of doing its own thing. Go back down the hill. I'm gonna set my crawl speed for five miles per hour again. So yeah. It's maintaining five miles per hour going down the hill. I notice this is different than Toyota system because in Toyota system, you hear the ABS really loud, like pulsating on and off. And this, it's, it's quiet. You don't hear anything, it just goes down the hill. But yeah, it's pretty easy. The other feature that's new for 2019 is this live valve system on the Fox Racing suspension. And you know it's new for 2019 because the shocks are now orange, which is the opposite color on the color spectrum is blue. And I appreciate that. But the way the live valve system works is when you jump and you leave the ground, it'll maximize the rebound setting. So when you come back down and the shocks compress all the way, it'll slow the expansion of the shocks as a truck settles the suspension. So that way you come down, you're not bouncing around and going buck wild. I just used the word buck wild for explaining suspension. That just happened. I really like how this truck can shift from four wheel drive to two wheel drive on the fly as you're going. I know that's not something specific to the Raptor and it's nothing new, but when I was growing up as a kid, I remember that my dad's Toyota 4Runner, you had to get out and lock the axles, the hubs in manually to use four wheel drive. And while that may mechanically last longer than an electrical system on this, I, uh, I like this better. This is so much more convenient to just be able to shift on the fly as you go instead of having to get out where it's freezing cold or burning hot in the desert and get bit by a snake on the ash cheek. Ooh, this looks like fun. <laughs> this thing sounds so good. <laughs> yeah, buddy, that's a huge 
you just jump. In the name of science, I should now give it the beans and dirt. Meatball beans, bean balls. So, ready, set, go. Oh my God, this thing is quick on dirt too. That's like uncomfortably quick. Time for the braking test. Okay. It's, uh, it stops. It's on dirt, what do you expect? As far as driving on the road goes, this truck is extremely comfortable. You can't even really tell you're riding in a truck. It's just so smooth and comfortable and it's quiet in here actually, other than the random rocks that I know are flying off my tires and killing chickens on the side of the road. There might be chickens on the side of the road, you never know. Never know. I knew this truck was gonna be decent off-road, but I had no idea it was gonna be decent off-road and enjoyable as a daily driver. This thing is nice to drive on the streets and around in traffic. I don't find it difficult to park, even though it's a big truck and maybe it's because it has a 360 degree camera system, that helps too. The fuel economy, yeah, it's not the greatest, but I have a feeling if you drove this thing and babied it, you could probably average in the upper teens. But who wants to do that with a truck like this? I want you to do burnouts and hit jumps. I have reviewed some of the TRD Pro Toyotas. I have reviewed a Jeep Rubicon and how this compares against those, it doesn't. This is just a different type of off-road vehicle. This truly is like a trophy truck that you can buy from a dealership and take off-road. As far as an all-around, just go jump stuff and have fun off-road, this is about as good as it gets. Although, I haven't driven a Ranger Raptor, and I think having a smaller size vehicle with this kind of capability and a little bit better fuel economy, whew, that would be insane. There's a swarm of gnats flying around my face right now. I'm gonna hold that together for you guys though. If you've never seen one of my off-road reviews before, I do, it's called the Meatball Score. It has a rating of one to five meatballs based on the truck's ability to tackle rocks that look like meatballs off-road. It's a weird rating system, I'm weird, deal with it. I'm dealing with these gnats. I wonder if the camera's picking them up. They tickle, mm, they taste meaty. Anyway, the 2019 Ford Raptor is going to get a rating of four meatballs. almost a whole foot long sub right there. It's the most meatballs I've ever given in a review before. And this truck completely impressed me both on and off road. I could totally drive on these as a daily driver and deal with the fuel economy. It's just that good. But the question is, would you guys like to see a review of that thing in the background? Could it get five meatballs? I don't even think I could push that truck to its limits because I didn't push this one to its limits. So who knows? Anyway, I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye.